this is Troy and today I want to go over working with the concrete catalog and let me give you a couple examples here. So say that we're going to pour a concrete slab here on this court area and then we'll probably go in and put a, a footer around it as an example. So we're going to go to new takeoff and we're going to do our slab. Now if you're working with multiple depths of slabs I find it's um, helpful to put a little descriptor so I would put it, this is a six foot <laughs> not a six foot six inch slab and then for our measurement type we're going to do a volume 2d we can put a description if we want to we can change the color if we want to but in this case we're going to go straight down to items and assemblies we're going to go to add um, up here will be your personal assemblies that you've met down here are our stack assemblies. So these are the ones that are for an optional purchase. You will find though that the catalogs are very extensive. So our concrete, for example, um, you'll find that we've already done a lot of the work for you and you can kind of drill down into these and see um, everything that we've created for you, okay? But in this case, we are going to work on a, on a slab. Do pay attention to the uh, measurement type so in the drop down menu we picked the volume 2d it does need to match up here so example if we're looking at the rebar it's if you choose a linear this is a linear assembly that would attach to it or a count type assembly that would count to it a count type takeoff so just be careful there and let's grab slab on grade just like so hit our little plus we're going to add our one assembly now our assemblies are all kind of set up the same way they're going to ask for some text inputs up on the top section and then down below you'll choose your different variables down here and these are adjustable so if you find one that's not included in a drop down list give us a call and we can kind of help you set that up there but so here's our base inch we'll put our six inches we can put a waste factor of five percent and then we can do some labor here so we can say that our finished production per hour per square feet per hour this is what your crew can do i'm just going to throw some numbers in here finishing grade and then reinforcing chairs per each let's put one in there okay we can move down to our drop down and you'll see choose if you're using reinforcing and then you can choose your type and then you can choose your base vapor barrier if you're going to be using one um, fiber let's go with glass we can choose our, our finish and then we can do our crew configuration again if your exact configuration isn't in here we can help you adjust that as well and then add our chairs at that point we're really done um, we can hit save and then go grab our our drawing so start takeoff this is a rectangle figure so i'm going to hop over here grab the rectangle tool i'm going to do one click in this corner oops we need our depths sorry about that and again i keep trying to do a six foot let's do a six inch would make a little bit more sense and now we'll grab our rectangle tool do one click in this corner drag it across and there we go um, we're really done at that point we can go in and go straight into our reporting so our takeoff summary report that's going to show our measurements so six inch slab this shows the square foot this shows the linear foot or the perimeter and this is the cubic yards of concrete required for that but since we add an assembly we also have access to these four additional reports right here item cost and this is going to show us our materials so for that area it's going to show 230 just over 230 crew hours so it's going to break down our labor and then for our materials here so 10 mil polyurethane it's going to say that we just need over just over five rolls and you can kind of work your way down like this now we do leave the unit cost um, empty that's for you can put your own local pricing you know pricing varies all across the world so we leave this to you but let me show you really quick how we can add our pricing in there so pricing is all done we we're working in assemblies but pricing is all done at the item level so say this uh, DOT lime rock how we would do so right now we're showing a unit cost of, of zero if we go into our items and type in our DOT hit search and that should find it fairly quickly for us there we go we can see that that is in tons our human measure is uh, cubic yards we've got a conversion already in there we can say that that is a material I have no idea what a ton of that costs so we can say that it's 75 um, my apologies if that's way off and hit save and now we can go straight up into our reports 
and we'll find that that pricing is there. So we're gonna go back to the exact same report and now we have pricing here for our Lime Rock and it's gonna price it out. So it's rather quickly, you can just search for these items. Once they're in there, you're gonna use them over and over again for your future projects and you are good to go. Um, quickly, I said that we would do two, so let's go ahead and hop in here and do a, a really quick footer. So a new takeoff, we're gonna kind of call this a footer and we'll do that as a linear measurement because we're going to attach a linear assembly to it again we can change color if we wanted to we're just going to add this assembly concrete and go into foundation and grab a continuous footer at linear right there which is why we chose that from the drop down again these are all set up the same so i won't run you through all of these but you can see that the depth that we went in to really make these assemblies robust Again, you're just gonna fill out your text inputs here. So here's the width, here's the wave bar, the ways factor, you can go into rebar, bar lap, et cetera. And then down here are your different um, drop downs. So just like in the previous example, we're gonna fill that out and then basically hit save. We are gonna hit our start takeoff and then we're just gonna draw it. So in this case, we're working with the linear. I can just do one click to start, one click around and double click there and we're done so we go into our reports just like so i didn't choose many things from there so this one's going to be a little bit weak but you'll see how it breaks it out so here's our footer here's our slab we got a lot of things missing just because i didn't fill them out but there we go so you're just going to attach your assembly add in the inputs and the drop downs and draw and you are good to go it is really that quick thank you so much for your time